Hello! This video will teach you the many ways you can use calendars in Notion to keep track of events, deadlines, schedules, and more. In Notion, calendars are databases that allow you to organize information by date. As an example, here's a content calendar for a company's blog. Every item you see on the calendar here is a post. You could use the calendar to show deadlines for posts by putting them on those dates, or to show which dates you plan to be working on a post. To add an item to a calendar, hover over the day you want to add it to and click the plus sign. To extend an item over more than one day, click and drag its edges to cover that date range. Each item on your calendar can be opened as its own Notion page, where you can add all the information you want, like properties denoting who is working on the post in question, or what type of media the post is, so for example, podcast or blog. You could also use the body of the page to collect all your research, interview recordings, or even full drafts of what you want to write. When you view an item as a page, you'll see properties at the top, where you can also edit them. Properties are pieces of information about each entry in your calendar. Notion lets you work with many different types of properties, like dates, people, single select menus, multi-select menus, numbers, text, and more. To add a new one, go to Properties, and click Add a Property. You'll be prompted to choose the type of property you want and give it a name. A nice thing about properties is that you can decide whether to show them or not on your calendar. To do this, toggle on the properties you want to show and toggle off the properties you want to hide. Should you only want to display your page title, just toggle everything off. In order to use a calendar, your database must contain at least one date property. If you decide to add another date property to your database, you'll see this dropdown appear. Another calendar will be created in parallel around the second date property. In this example, we have two date properties, deadline and publication date. So we also have two calendars, the one showing all deadlines and the one showing all publication dates. You can switch between the two with just a couple of clicks. Just like other types of databases in Notion, you can filter calendars to only show items that fit specific criteria. So for example, you can click filter at the top and specify that you only want to see posts assigned to Alex. Your calendar will change in real time. Finally, let's talk about views. A calendar is one of multiple kinds of database views you can create with Notion. You could also view the same data in a table, on a board, in a list, etc. Calendars just make it easier to see your information organized by date specifically. To create a different view of your calendar, click Add a view at the top left. You can choose which type of view you want and give it a name. You can also create views showing different filters applied to your calendar. Then switch seamlessly between them using the View menu. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about other types of database views, you can watch our tables, gallery, lists, and boards video. Hope this helps you and your team stay on schedule.